So, and that, that, that schedule says 45 minutes. I don't know how many. We'll, we'll try. So we're gonna start. All right. Okay. All right. So. We're going to start with BMOG. Uh, BMOG was a company that uh, kind of does a model kit kind of thing. You got them, you build uh, stuff. That was their first thing, their uh, Manta Axe and stuff. What it is, it's essentially uh, weapons that combine to make like animals and, and all kinds of stuff. That's when you detach everything. It's in the display right now, actually, this one here. Uh, done in their purple run. They do it in different colors. Uh, two really talented guys work on it. Here's uh, just some examples of how it's used with other toy lines, even the Ninja Turtle one there. Oh, man, I wish the picture was better. Because um, they actually have like cool little homages to, geez, to uh, like Game Boy. You look carefully there. Looks like a Game Boy there. They do little homages to 80s stuff and everything, and it's compatible with all these different toy lines, uh, which is a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff there. And uh, we're, here's some previews of their future stuff that they're going to be doing. And uh, so. This is a uh, feather, feather blight and chainmail splatter puss. Um, no, they get better. They get, there's, there's one that blew my mind. I can't wait for that one. So uh, here's like the cat images, essentially how it's gonna look. Um, actually, geez, that should have been a separate one. Uh, this one here's their non-dino, which is like it's dinosaur stuff, and that's kind of like a, a ancient shark, uh, the megadon, I think it's called. And, uh, but the cool one they're doing here, this is their Wave 3. Look carefully now. It's Rob the Robot from Nintendo. But the pieces is... Is it Nintendo? Make a Nintendo, the Zapper Gun, the, the Tops. So, that's good. Oh, really? Nintendo crazy that one. That one, I, that one that's going to be coming out quite a bit from that because they still have those other things they have to do but that's their really that's their big reveal that one that one's really cool that one i'm stoked for myself I love so next we got atomic robot you'll take that one yeah yeah atomic robot okay so this is a new third party company uh pretty talented design if you'll recognize some of none of the designs have been seen online but just stock photos these are nice properties so uh, yeah, we have uh, Bludgeon and Banzai Tron. As Shogun and Ronin, and then here's uh, for you animated guys. Yeah, Yoki Tron. Yoki Tron. And we get Yoki Tron first, so he's not going to be an obscure repaint months and months down the line. He comes out first. <laughs> Come on, let's get a clap for Yoki Tron. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, X2 Toys. It's uh, upgrade stuff. Um, New feet, new weapons for your hoist, your trail cutters, and everything. So, uh, uh, which one is this one? Oh, this is their Furo and Rotor. This one I actually don't know too much about. So. Okay, that's uh, Fast Lane and Cloud Rig. Yeah. The Orbital Clones? Yeah. Oh. That one there. But again, um, and then you got this one here. This is their. Oh, this is the other one too. Yeah, he's a Target Master, so that's you get a little, little humor one. that becomes a gun for the weapon you want. Yeah, And then that's uh, some teasing there. Yeah, this just went out of line earlier today. I'm not 100% certain what it is, but it works with all the other combines on the market apparently, so it's looking pretty cool. And then you got his Hello. Impact Door. Yeah, hopefully this one will come out. <laughs> There's been a lot of Impact Door since last year. Nothing is coming. That character's destined to die, I guess. <laughs> And then, uh, so then we got DX9. So we got, uh, this is the 4-inch one, I believe. This is the 4-inch side figure, um, swoop, uh, swoop, uh, sweep of a, of a Scourge. And then you got, um, this is a repaint of uh, Salomon. So they're doing, obviously, a Junkion. Now, here's where it's going to get cool, because uh, they're going to do Crasher. So there's going to be some more go bottle love going on there, so you got a Crasher there. And then, because Salomon, what's the obvious repaint? So we're going to do version 2. Oh. Uh, version 2 colors are very cool. The running change of uh, Psych Hill, which was done in uh, GoBot 84. That. Then we got Echo TF. Uh, where is Echo TF? Woo! We're going to just do a quick talk about that first. Sure, so uh, about a year ago now, we uh, had just finalized a deal with x Transbots to do our Boosticus upgrade kit. So I mean, originally, like generally, I just work in Shapeways and see how the, the interest goes on the, on the design. And if it picks up interest, it goes from there. So next slide would be 
what we're doing now. So uh, there's interest in um, this uh, upgrade kit. It's just a small little uh, set of foot pieces that clip on the bottom and it makes the figures taller about the size of the rest of your classic uh, universe figures. And uh, then it, it does something, it turns into a trailer. So that's all there is to There's some transforming bits in there that make that work. Oh, there's another shot with the, uh, yeah. There's, there's angle articulation and stuff. You can see one in the case. It's uh, fairly stable as a result of that. So um, you can pose them and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it just got put in the case. So. Yeah, next up. So no ankle tilt nerve rage, okay? <laughs> so I'm really excited also about this project. So this was so cool. So Eddie had started this project, GI yeah, Eddie, he's on TFW. He had started this project uh, to, uh, I guess you go to the next slide, to upgrade the um, Intimidator set. And uh, we, we connected together and we just started uh, working through the design. So Eddie, maybe just talk a little bit about uh, some of the, the individual figures and what we're doing there. Um, the, the start of this thing was, uh, was down for us. We wanted to give, or I wanted to give him uh, his more G1 look with the six wheels and the, the, uh, the front splitter spoiler. Um, more of the Tyrell look. Uh, from there it just kind of evolved, you know, with everyone else having requests. Uh, I wanted to give Car Crash a, a spoiler so he looked more G2. Um, when we saw other holes in the, uh, in the whole M3 imitator set where we could improve and add other stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a, uh, actually, yeah. yeah. We ended up uh, creating some some guns for every one of the figures so they can have the more uh, G1 looking. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. So those things are infinitely, you can move those around to all the robot modes, to all the different car modes. Uh, they can clip onto uh, the M3 uh, everywhere. They're, they're great. Uh, Echo here uh, designed a lot of uh, football joints on them. They can do different things. Yeah. Okay, yeah, here they are, the car modes. So basically, together, the brainstorming sessions, we're doing this like, Eddie's in Michigan, I'm in Ottawa, we're doing brain set, storming sessions over uh, um, Skype and stuff, and it's really fun because uh, basically we're trying to figure out uses for everything. So then in the combined mode, you can see the parts have something to do with them. So we just signed a deal, um, it's uh, going to be with, um, uh, I'm forgetting the name. DMI. DMI. DMI Studios, thank you. DMI Studios for both those kids, and uh, we're just starting to work on a schedule, so then we'll know more where we're going. Thank you. So Bolt Farms is a, is a new company. Uh, they have one new product coming out this fall. Uh, it's going to be Gladius the, the Dark Emperor. It's going to be a new Megatron. Um, it's roughly the same size as MP10. There, if you want to go to the next slide. Um, obviously, it's going to be a gun. Uh, it's it's going to be big. Uh, now, they didn't want to give us a robot mode because they're still they're still hashing out that part. But we'll go to the next one. They're going to work on their own version of Metasaur. Right. That's number three for those of you down to. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so if you go to the next slide, uh, they've just done a, a simple resin uh, model of the combiner itself. Uh, if you go to the next one, you get a little bit closer up. It's, it's a lot more cartoon accurate. Uh, smaller wheels, tighter transformation. If you go to the next one, they've just uh, fresh out of the mold, took a picture, sent it to us. So it's got a nice G1 feel to it. Uh, and their next one, you can see the size roughly of what the, the gun will look like. It's, it's, you know, it's got a good stock there too. And that's what's nice and in there. Uh, no, and it's, uh, they don't have a release date yet for the minor, but Megatron should be, or Lydia should be out later this fall. Alright, KFC. Subject to controversy lately. No, it's good. Now, they're working very hard to improve. This is some of the stuff they've had out in the last few years. We've got uh, Overslay. Oh, hello. And hey, make you coming very soon. You just uh, showed the, the reveal there. Go on, go. <coughs> the best of the Scorpions. Come on. So, very obscure. For those of you who don't know, this is really obscure. The original movie script for the 1986 animated movie, uh, Blaster was going to have a cassette who was a Scorpion. 
who is imaginatively called Stinger. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so finally, you know, about 30 years after the fact, we're going to get one. <laughs> oh, well, come on, the harmonica should speak for themselves. We've got Scorpion in the front, Black Zarek. Is that Quick Strike? Oh, no, it's double, a, double, double Strike. All right, there's rumor of a Quick Strike as well, but yeah. maybe I shouldn't have said that yet. Yeah, <laughs> oh well, it's <laughs> worse. Hello. Okay, right, so these guys get a lot of flack. Um, there still isn't as many repaints of the Mugen guys as there is the, uh, the Lambo mold, size like the Sunstreaker. <laughs> so give them a little slack, guys, come yeah. on. Uh, it's no different to what Hasbro do, uh, and the quality has improved with every iteration, so, you know, onwards and upwards, there's, there's much cooler stuff coming there still. Yeah. So Tempest, you will have sit in the cabinet. That's looking very cool. Very articulated, very, it looks very much like the 86 movie. Yeah. yeah. And you've got, you've got the guns, whether you're a Target Master guy or a 986 guy, you've got both guns there, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> Hello. Citizen yes. Stack. Who had Citizen Stack? Who loved it? Come on. Come on. Really? Is that it? <laughs> wow. They're waiting for a... Uh, die climb, right? Yeah. Maybe the die climb. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, so uh, there should be two heads, faceplate and non-faceplate, and I'm trying to get them to do one version with yellow eyes like the toys, so it should be as accurate as we can do. Nemesis. Not a big surprise. Nemesis. It was just a matter of time, right? right. But he's got a faceplate. We really didn't do that at Hot Pink, so... Uh, <laughs> I, don't know, I think the black is the better idea. What about the stats? <laughs> <laughs> Shining Magnus, Shining Magnus. there's some debate that if it happens, maybe a convention exclusive, we'll see. Yeah. I'll give you gold plastic, just to screw with people. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that. Your $300 GPS today. Well, Shining Magnus was colors, right? So, that's what we're going with. Yeah. Add on hands. Now, there has been, uh, there's been complaints online that the colors for the Takara one don't quite match up with I think it's the year of the horse toy, the colors yeah. don't quite match. So there's going to be replacements given out for them just to make sure they are completely color accurate. So I just got the email for that like an hour ago. So that's pretty off the press, Alan. Hello, the sharks. So who's a Brave fan? Any Brave fans in the room? There we go. So basically we, want, we wanted to do Captain Shark. And uh, we kind of, woo, we hit it. In a, as a retool, but that was, that was kind of our first intention. You know, we really wanted Captain Shark, so there you go. Now we're moving on to Giga Power. Um, I should say, with the, the last one, there are three sharks, right? There's Haiku, which is a Skylight homage, Captain Shark. Yeah, and, and a John Shark to come as well. And the Shark to come from, yeah. and, and more planned down the line. Yeah, it's it's man is a, yeah we saw that picture last year. Yeah. The Legion of Sharks. So this is another company, uh, Giga Power. They're going to be doing a masterpiece scale dino lot. Uh, they wanted to send us a sample, but there was a lot of fan feedback about the shape of the tail and dinosaur mold, so they had to scrap the mold and do it again because they want to listen to people. So um, they will be, they'll have something very shortly. Uh, they don't even have a working name for this one yet. Uh, so let, let's go to the next slide. Pretty impressive dino lot. Um, it looks sharp. Uh, and if you go to the next slide, you'll see a little bit of size comparison. Uh, it, it looks pretty good next to the other guys. I'm sure it was over here to lock, but that's the new thing nowadays. Well, and, and to be honest, guys, like that's the true scale of the Dinobots. They've always were supposed to tower over Optimus Prime. Yeah. If you're a cartoon guy, right? I'm a comic guy. If you go to the next slide, I'll actually show how it was in cartoon. So there you go. Bang on accurate. Yeah. So and like, then, uh, Fortress Max is the same size as Prime. <laughs> even though this one is on, designated H203, the next one coming out after, for some reason, is H202. Go to the next slide, and that's Grassor. Don't ask me about the name. <laughs> but they'll be doing the next uh, slide. Yeah. And uh, on to sheep shifting. So sheep shifting is uh, they're going to specialize to start with legends figures. So uh, they're going to start off with heavy metal versus sky scale. So Ironhide versus uh, Starscream in the War for Cybertron style and aesthetic. So if you go to the next slide again, they want to set as prototypes to have on display, but they weren't quite there yet. Mm -hmm. um, they look really sharp though. If you go to the next one, uh, they'll have the nice, very, very accurate weapons from the game. Uh, and they should be out uh, within the next few months actually. 
Yeah, I, I really like those because they're obviously compatible with the generation of Metroplex. Exactly. And uh, it's their own niche market, so there's not going to be 15 other people doing them. So I think that's, I think that's a pretty cool size one. I agree, and I love Webster. Microplace Creations. Uh, also, uh, some people may have heard of them. Uh, they'll be doing their own uh, standalone ball core for Cybertron Onslaught figure with an upgrade kit. Uh, to kind of build upon, much like uh, the X-Transbot kit, will build upon all five figures. This will replace the core figure and put an add-on kit to, uh, to the, the other figures. So if you go to the next slide here, you'll see it is a standalone figure, much more game accurate than the Hasbro release, and it will come with different pieces and components to build upon any of the individual sets. So it will come with different, uh, different plates to go on the different, uh, different versions. So that's pretty cool. Hasbro say you can't bring the Voyager and Ford Deluxes to the market. Well, there's always someone else who can, so there we go. Yes. Okay, so DFC, um, they have quite a bit coming out. Um, they've had the Razor Hercules uh, set in there. The Hercules set, that was huge when it came out. People couldn't get enough of it. Uh, but again, with every compliment, there's going to come a question. Uh, the sophomore James, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uranus, uh, again, great figure, better with an upgrade kit, and that's TFC's thing. The Wings of Uranus upgrade kit took it from good to amazing. Uh, Fultron, Daniel, you, you, uh, you had that view last week, didn't you? Oh, uh, yeah, we did actually, yeah. So, really cool looking camera, uh, excellent version of reflector. Yeah, we revealed that one. Yeah, uh, and then TFC's Nemi, we actually have the full, uh, the full figure in the display case. Uh, so there's Nemian, I can't even say the next name. It's a cat. Vlogus. <laughs> Vlogus, right? Is that what you said? Vlogus, anything, we'll buy it. <laughs> uh, kind of us. And uh, we're going to go right to the combined figure of Ares. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No one can deny that. Nice big figure. It can stand with its legs touching. It doesn't have the fat thigh syndrome. What are you trying to say? <laughs> we're not perfect. <laughs> Um, and then after Ares coming in uh, 2015, oh, Ago, uh, Gumball. So they're they're going to be finishing uh, their next combiner, which is um, Defensor. Defensor, yeah. Defensor. Uh, so yeah. Gumball is the, their version of Streetwise, and uh, after that is Waterline, their version of Groove. Uh, we have, actually have a prototype of Hydrant. Uh, that's their version of Hotspot out in the cabinets, and they'll be having a full color reveal of them sometime next week. Uh, and that's uh, to make you know, Defensor. Yeah. So people next. Yes. Yeah. Um, so coming in 2015, the figure on the left is the first member of their new combiner team. Take a guess. Who knows? Is it new? They uh, want you to guess. Uh, uh, and the like figure on the right is thinking thinking maybe a bomb ass. Thinking a bomb ass. That's what I was thinking. It looks quite cut Yeah. The figure on the right, they said, is a familiar character within their lore. So they want people to guess. To me, it looks like a headmaster. Yeah. Very boxy. Could be. Yeah. Honestly, we don't know Kind of got a full one for a time, but... Yeah. Alright, perfect! perfect. Woo. And they've been doing great. They've had a lot of add-on kits beforehand. They had uh, the uh, Dark Warriors, uh, the Rumble and Frenzy, and Eject and Rewind, and et cetera, et cetera. They had a lot of excellent kits. They had the Motobot uh, RC and RC Battle, which was just Chromia. Yep. Uh, and then they even had, uh, after that, our Arena. The, yeah, the yeah, right here was very cool. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. Very interesting mold. Um, and then Warden. Ooh, Amazing. This, this put them on the map, right? <laughs> and obviously we have the repaint uh, Guardian. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, next up is Leonidas. Who's ready for these tools, right? Yeah! Finally! That is no Lyle Convoy! Good. Yeah, exactly. Lyle Convoy. Yeah. And then uh, after that, we're going to be. We're going dark, uh, Deathstalker, so that'll be the, the big fight against Warden. Um, and perfect fit, like anyone else likes the really uh, blurry pictures, so the next one. So the very blurry picture. <laughs> okay, I can tell you a couple of cool things about this that haven't been announced yet. The, uh, it's going to come with uh, the, the Spear of Destiny, I guess you call it, the Black Zarek had a stand. I, that's been Tyrant nice. Spear. Yeah, the Tyrant, there we go. Thank you. I've Spear of Destiny, right? Uh, and also the, uh, the the big tail is not just going to hang off the back. That's going to actually transform into the shield for the forearm. So it's it's all in one. There's a lot of inclusive core aspects. 
the, uh, the tank upgrade kits. So you have the super tank upgrade kit, the samurai upgrade kit, uh, and then you have the, uh, the next one I think is the master upgrade kit, and that's yeah. where your block time uh, you more. Yeah, uh, and then they're going to be The head is the head on the board. It's no different. So it's, it'll give you an idea of the size, of, but it transforms. Very, very simple. <laughs> yeah, this one is called Max Warden. But there's more. And we've got inbox images, so the next one is Deathstalker. <laughs> <laughs> the but there's more. Oh. 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 But then there's one more. But there's more. Oh. Oh. I can't say that name. <laughs> that, 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 so, okay, next ideas, we're not afraid to get obscure. We've obviously done uh, G2 repaints based on Argentinian exclusives, and of course we're bringing the animated toys to you this year, so that's pretty cool. So, Rob Blast, which was your... Uh, that was uh, the debut piece. Yeah. I love that piece. It's, it had the, the Megatron Nango, the Shocking Nango, and all your classic weapons. Hey, Texas and Gemma, uh, uh, in my opinion, the best value for that toy we've had so far. Yeah. 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 Gauntlet. Yeah. This could be a contender for that. This is, this is, uh, I think the retail on this is supposed to be $30, $35, which is... Really cheap. Yeah, you can't complain about that, right? Considering what you're paying for another. And that, that toy was dead. Uh, we, we worked really hard at the Mac 5 to bring you that. There was a bit of crossover with some of the creators, and uh, it was just killed dead by a bad pre ordering situation. Uh, and Mac Idea stepped in and brought it back to life. So Lazarus was there. Repaint and remold in a piston. Cranked case. Yeah, crank case for people who don't know their trigger cons. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very cool. He's doing the uh, looks like a uh, cool metal jacket. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's, a, that's what it looks like. Platoon. 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 You haven't? Right, I'm not. The hell is wrong with We you? have two left <laughs> for today. What's wrong with me? There's two left for today, and there's, unless it's gone while I've been here, uh, we've got one case for tomorrow, that's it. There I got go. the last one. What? <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, you can't figure it out, it's obviously Martin. We, we want to expand the line, we want to do more animated toys, and there's going to be a little bit of online fiction uh, just to kind of make a story surrounding it. To, so get involved, you know? So, uh, yeah, we've got fun. <laughs> <plans. laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's my yeah. So, Cyclops. I, that's one of my favorite toys ever made. I didn't think anyone would be brave enough to make that. It wasn't perfect, but I loved it. Fight Morpher. Uh, yeah. He's actually fantastic. I loved it. Yeah. yeah, just amazingly. I mean, let's not focus on the title, but the toys were fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did that on purpose. I'm sorry. Oh, that's your fault. <laughs> yeah, totally. He gets air. Of course, Kite yeah. Morpher. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Yeah, they were really cool. Yeah. The, uh, the fourth one never came out. It might still happen one day. Hexatron. This I was uh, like uh, voted second best toy last year. So second, second isn't bad, right? Yeah. Ah, black repaints. That's how you do a black repaint. Yeah. Shiny and black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Barrel Rex. Yeah. Lobus. I mean, what can you say about Feral Rex? You guys have made that the uh, the, the winner of the Predicate Award. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you! Woo! That's right. Yeah! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Tigris, uh, Talon's out, well, Talon's out and shipping to stores as we speak. Oh, uh, and uh, Cat quite literally is out of the bag. We all know Catilla's coming, that's the sixth one. You can use him combined with Predaking, but it's not essential. So if you want to go with your cartoon comic accuracy, you can. But there's a pretty cool backstory that explains how he fits into the franchise. So. And he is in the case. If, if you've looked at the... Uh, the uh, it's the perfect you know, if you're okay, yeah. in, in the case, he's got all six, even Dive Bomb complete on the back. So it's all six figures combined. Yeah, Feral Rex perfect mode. I'm the brave guy, what can I say? <laughs> okay, yeah, that leads. Yeah. Lovely toys. These are also in the case, so we'll get in there and drink again. 
So yeah, these were designed by Griffith, who uh, he, he was fairly uh, interactive with people online, uh, but he's just so busy at the minute, I don't think he's been on for a bit. Just excellent toys. We actually have, uh, this one that's the Alita one, Alita one. Alita one. that's in the case, and uh, Solus Prime one is in the case as well. Yeah, so Solus Prime, there we go, one of the, one of the 13. One of the original 13. Oh wow, okay, I didn't know we were revealing this today. Yes we are. So, who, likes, who likes Metal Slug? Yes! <laughs> and, and who likes Deceptive Unjustice and Doom? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I didn't even know these had a name. Okay, yeah. I'm learning something here today. Okay, so a few more shots. Yeah, pretty cool. Go, yeah. I don't know what I don't know what you're gonna it's surprise me with the names, but yes. If you like your Neo Geo obscure, like obviously we like video games, you said I'm Mario and Luigi. Yeah. Metal Slug, the tank is straight from Metal Slug. Hello! Oh. April Fools! <laughs> oh. <laughs> One thing to pay attention to is more stuff is coming at TFCon Chicago. Okay, so we'll see more of this uh, repartition department. And uh, even more fembots are coming, so... Oh, no, there's, there's one there. Oh, yes! Terrible guess. Yeah, but he's right. He's he's right. right. And his enthusiasm. He's right there. Yeah. That's what we assume. I mean, it looks pretty much a six-wheel vehicle. Who else could it be, really? So you got some fiction there. No! If you look a little closer there to the bottom of the panel, it looks an awful lot like G-axis. So maybe that's character coming, playing in the story, but perhaps this story is coming to an end. He's been an antagonist all the way through, so... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're expanding, uh, we're expanding the universe. Originally this was planned as a... We're, we're a really big fan of what IDW did for the comics, but we needed a jumping off point, so we kind of... Just for the sake of continuity, when the Thurman run ends, that's where we pick up and carry on, so yeah. Uh, this is also a, a, a new upgrade kit for Fear Rex, uh, Professor Heisenberg. Uh, and it's good to call it King's Claw upgrade kit. Should be coming out roughly in September, uh, suggested retail price of about 20 bucks. And just clips on, there's no modding you have to do, just to give them a little bit more of a animalistic hands. Yeah, so for the cool, the primitive fans, that's for you. Yeah. Right? So, launchers for your blue streak. These are those uh, e hobby expensive ones. <laughs> It'll go perfect with the blue streak that's going to be coming in towards the rest of them, so yeah. perfect. Uh, before and after is Sigma 6, so their version of uh, 6 gun. And there's two flavors there's red yeah. for Takara and giant black arms for Hasbro. And there's you got your brand slam there and everything. Oh, and then they, uh, they'll be having uh, clone twins. So obviously wingspan and pounds, and we might have those out for display uh, after the panel. Yeah. Now you have to buy the Bosch Bond ones. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry guys, I had to pull all the F uh, Fans Project slides off, so we're just going to skip all this stuff. <laughs> so this one, this is an interesting homage. Um, <coughs> Die of Battles, which was a Die Claw toy that actually saw quite a bit of a release in America, but it was like kind of like a bootleg, but it was an official Die Claw toy back in the day. So this is pretty much a, a nod to that. Um, I don't want to I don't want to promote my own table. I actually have pieces of that if you're curious what the original looks like. It's at my sale table. <laughs> so that's what that's what it comes to. You'll see here's the pieces of it. And you'll notice there's three drivers for each car. Yeah. If you go back, yeah. he's got three core fingers, one in each shoulder and one in the middle. Yeah. So how Die Battles works was he, he split the three things and Diaclon toys had Diaclon drivers. And so, again, going back to that early pre-Transformer days of before the car robot stuff made its way into 1984. So he's, he's big. He's a big, big He's a big man. So, <laughs> looks really cool. And the prototype looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So... Yeah. So just a little quick brief history, I mean, I, I have a lot more slides, but I actually can leave this up, so. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to go right to the function X line. Um, quick review, Nicole, Smart Robin, uh, Sigma L, which is out on display right now. Uh, he should be released, I think they said August. Yeah, very soon. Yeah. And then Function X5, which is going to be their version of Skull Cruncher. So we teased that years ago, but we finally get a prototype. Fantastic little crocodile moment. 
That's how it kind of is. The, the engineering of these toys have been phenomenal. Open the mouth. And if you look at inside the you got gears to help chew things. You know, it's just little details. Yeah. And then, obviously, we saw this teaser recently, uh, Functions X, 6, 7, and 8. Unfortunately, we don't have any pictures, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, we have videos. Oh. Oh. Aegis free and up at the back, they've got some Make Toys catalogs. 
you need to be picking them up because the uh, the production quality of just a catalog is is just miles ahead of what everyone else is doing with their toys. So, so obviously, a shot glass version of uh, their Optimus Prime called Gento. So they'll be doing their own figure. So if you missed out on the original, uh, they'll be doing it as a standalone figure and as a kit with the trailer. Yeah, there was a huge leap in quality between Battle Tanker and the uh, Nova Prime. Just the cap section was so much better, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased they're doing this. Obviously, a Nemesis version. It goes with it's in. Big cool cape and chains. Oh, Image Comics called them in the 90s, but. Yeah. <laughs> they're spawn. <laughs> Oh, you know? I I don't know. We can do it. We can do it. So Utopia. Yeah, that's it on the, uh, it on the uh, display table. Go and see this if you haven't. It's amazing. Yeah, it's huge. Fantastically scaled. Uh, it even comes with like, a little tiny hologram version of, of Utopia to walk around the city. It's not quite as big as the Generations version, but it has ankle tilts. <laughs> so City Bot series implies there are more City Bots. Which means... All City Bots. But we're not going to go. The next combiner is Guardian. So you have a choice. You have a choice. Yeah. Defensor. Defensor is Defensor is coming in style now. So again, uh, next slide is going to show the robot modes. Uh, and we're going to have those robot modes out on display as well. They're pretty groovy. Oh. <laughs> now you're on the hot nice spot. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next slide is the front. I'm going to blaze this <laughs> Then you'll be first place. Uh, yeah. Very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. What's in his hands? You'll have to wait. So what's this? Hello. Pendinus. This is their next city box. Look at that tail. Gigantic. Look at the tail. Look at the tail. Look at the attention to the tail. What does it look like? What does that look like? Yeah. Oh my god. So, yeah, so a perfect effect of giving you a companion piece to Warden with, uh, with, what did they call this, Gorknock? Analog? Death Stalker. Death Stalker. So you have a choice. You, you can get Companion Piece to Warden, or you can get a true city bot with your Scorpionock. So uh, we always say it's good to have the choice, right? And we have a lot of choice. There's the tail. Oh, it's it's a tail. That's hardcore. So we just turn a little bit of a city or a refinery mode, and then a gigantic Scorpion. I'm in. Oh. So the cool thing about this is he's not just that just doesn't have scorpion hands, they're gauntlets. And they can be mounted on the shoulders after. Whoa. So it gives them off, right? So, so you can have you want hands. Yeah, that's pretty cool then. We have choice. Choice is good. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, we're we're gonna go over our uh, our exclusives. Uh, just using the uh, x frames block crank and, and stacks. Haas and the Haas. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Robot Haas. <laughs> the next ones out are Ollie and Sonic. Sonic, obviously, a Robot Haas. It's a turbo. Of course, our exclusive this year. Shut up. Which we have there. Oh, I just got that. Oh, you did? <laughs> and I'm hoping everyone else here has one too, right? Uh, sure. Woo! Yeah. 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 What you can do with your shaft. That's the most. There was a and death too? Uh, <laughs> sure. Probably, yeah. If, if you can find a color of the rainbow they haven't done, we'll do it. Give me the Voltron. Well, they That's did, been they done. Did, they That's did been, that. We already did that. So, Chicago's exclusive. Wow. I wanted this here, damn it. Why didn't I get it here? <laughs> so, Axis also, he was, in the, he was in the comic book too. And he's in the display case yeah, as well. You want to check him out he's person. trying to get me to fly to America three times in one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. Pretty nice really cool. Pretty cool. And that's it, guys. Yeah. This